All right, everyone. That tree that you're seeing right there, just over the top of this watermelon, over the top of this little mound right here, that is a mulberry tree. Well, what I did was I took a couple clippings off of it just to see what would happen. I had to clean it up, actually, but if you look around, you see a lot of really nice, clean, green growth. Well, not only that, but also, if I zoom back, there's a watermelon. So over here are those cuttings. I did not do anything special to these whatsoever. I literally cut them and literally um, peel back probably about two, three inches of the bark, shoved them in the ground. I did not do anything special. And look at this. Let's see if you can see it. Look at that. We have new buds showing up. And it's been about a week, so we might get some new mulberries. But anyway. Um, so what I did was you take you leave on two leaves and the leaves that you keep cut those in half that way you can tell that they're the pre-existing leaves so in this case i know these are the old leaves um all the other ones such as these two have died off and they're falling off um, on this one the leaves all fell off but look you can see all the little buds showing up so Maybe by next weekend, might actually have some new mulberries here. And if that's the case, I plan on going ahead and putting these in the ground. And hopefully they'll have enough time before, uh, before it turns to fall and winter to be able to develop a root strength. But anyway, this right here goes over well. And come springtime, I'm going to take a lot more cuttings off of that one right there. Oop, let's go catch it. I'm going to take a lot more cuttings off of that mulberry and just start spreading them all over the place. Because in all actuality, let me see, I think I did five. Let's see. Zoom back out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's five in here. Out of these five, how many are looking really good so far? So, so far we have this one. This one looks really good. Oop. Let me zoom out some more. There we go. All right, so this one right here looks really good. And this one right here looks really good. So that's two. Um, okay, and that's it. I mean, this one right here doesn't have anything new on it. It still has green leaves. So the leaves didn't die yet. So that's good. Um, and even the stem still looks really good. Uh, this one doesn't have anything. And the leaves are partially dead. This one, the leaves are completely dead. Right here. You can see and the leaves are dead. But this one has really good growth on it. And this one does too. So, if you look at it that way, you have a 40% um, uh, progress, I guess you could say. And... Uh, or an ROI of 40% for our return on investment of time, which wasn't really a whole lot. So, But anyway, um, and the effort that went into this, start to finish, I would say that was probably, I had to do the cuttings anyway, get them off of the ground essentially. Came over here, I think I was able to strip everything back, have it done and in the pot, walking away and probably maybe 10 minutes i mean we'll say 20 minutes but um if i get two new plants out of this that'd be fantastic um but this one has some high hopes just because the leaves are still green so that'd be really nice also so we might actually be able to push this to a 60 percent success rate um but anyway, we'll see what happens. All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Feel free if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. That way we can kind of continue forth with this journey of what's going on with the new plants. And I may take those vines right there and go bring them over to uh, the sheep and the goats because they love that stuff. And it's running all over the place over here. So 
I'll probably pull that up and go feed it to them. They love that. But anyway. All right.